What's up guys? Today I'm going to be talking about a uh, demo boy girl a little bit and it's a band that deserves my attention of course because it's one of those bands that um, accompanied me throughout the years. Uh, we talked about symphonic black metal a few episodes back because we talked about Midian um, from Cradle Filth. I wanted to mention today another seminal album which I was um, produced and released I believe in 2002 or 2003 one of those years the album is Puritanical Euphoric Misanthropia it's something that um, obviously the title already says everything so here Demo Borghi uh, this is the album that follows spiritual black dimension so Spiritual, spiritual Black Dimension was already some something to uh, focus on as well, to listen to, to be interested to. But Spiritual Black Dimension had a little bit of um, reminiscing sound from Enthroned Darkness Triumphant, which was a great album. I mean, it's one of those albums I've been listening to since I was um, a kid. However, they didn't have much personality uh, in those two albums. They were symphonic, yes. They are one of those bands that created that sound, as well as Emperor and Cradle Phil. But then with Puritanical Euphoric Misanthropy, they uh, really tell the world, okay, this is us, this is Demo Borghi, and from now on, we are going to be dominating the scenes, the stages. Of, of all over the world so the niche expanded more and more and more because they added a little bit of um, cybernetic sound um, obviously Nicholas Barker joined the band and he contributed to a destructive drum lines that really influenced the band from that record on. Nicholas Barker here shows the world how great and how technical he is. Um, his drum bass is something that's not human. I mean, <laughs> it's something that if you listen to, you really, really get completely mystified by the fact that this guy is just beating the drums so hard and with precision. Apart from the drums, then obviously Shagrat, which is the nickname of the lead singer, he is outstanding here. His lyrics, his performances on stage, and also the guitarist. There's also um, a back voice, which is, I believe, the one from the bass guitarist, which is very um, gothic and when I listen to it, it's uh, very um, evocative of a medieval time but mixed with something which is futuristic. I don't really know how to <laughs> um, explain it, but then if you listen to it, you'll know what I'm talking about because it's really, really, as I said, evocative and it's, it brings you to certain places um, which hardly other bands are able to. Um, this feminine voice, uh, which comes from a man, obviously, is really, I don't know if it's kind of synthesized a little bit, I don't know if they worked uh, the sound of that voice, but it's very peculiar and really worth listening to. The first track, which is an intro, uh, which is a little bit, uh, yeah, symphonic, then the opener, the proper opener, starts with a nice riff and then the, the drums, which are obviously played by Nicholas Barker, tell the truth about the album. And then track by track is just an orgasm that you really need to get into and start by now. If you like this video, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Um, just let me know what you want to listen to and you want uh, me to talk about because I've got lots of things to talk about 
uh, but then if you have a bit of a, a suggestion then I'm sure your suggestions will be welcomed and we can also exchange our ideas what you think about that uh, record I'm talking about about that lyrics about that tracks about that um, uh, time that we were living in because it was very prolific time for the extreme metal uh, in general that started in the early 90s but then obviously with the end of the 90s and the beginning of the notice those black metal bands refined that sound and they delivered us masterpieces that will be there for the rest of our time and in the decades to come people are going to be uh, talking about that if not centuries and yeah guys i've not listened to such a thing uh for a while so i don't know you but uh, there's something that it's a little bit uh, of a stalemate in the heavy metal um, scene although there are a few things which are interesting but i'm not sure if i'm nostalgic or i don't know there's something that um it's missing a little bit nowadays when it comes to extreme sounds um, there's a bit of lack of creativity there's a bit of lack of uh, inspiration I don't know what the inspiration uh, was given by back in the days but nothing to do with what was produced uh, around that time uh, the aforementioned okay if you have something to suggest please let me know um, and I'll let you know what I think about that. But hardly I've found something that's really interesting um, over the past few years when it comes to the heavy metal genre in general, especially the extreme one. Okay, hit the subscribe button and don't forget it. And leave the comments down below. Don't forget to subscribe. Bye bye. Talk to you soon.